Hello. Hi. My name is Eva and I work at Salt Healthcare as a team leader on Confidence B. I would love to hear about all the things that happened with you and Max. Well, first of all, Max was born with a condition called Hirschsprung's disease. Found out when pretty much from birth. I had a normal pregnancy, everything was fine. Um, um, but he just wasn't having his first poo when we were in hospital. So we were transferred to the children's hospital and they um, told us about the diagnosis and um, we had to do rectal washouts for a long time till he was about one. He seemed to get on quite well until he was about four um, and he started suffering quite badly with bloating and he wasn't pooing properly and we actually went on holiday um, and ended up at a Cardiff Children's Hospital and then we ended up back in Birmingham. Um, and he started having to have um, what they call Botox injections under anaesthetic to try and um, stop him from having to have the stoma. But it just wasn't having it. It sort of, the first time we had it done would last about six months. And we had it done again and it just wasn't lasting as long. Kind of came to the decision last year. So it was June when he finally had the operation. At first, when he first had the operation done, he wouldn't even look at it. It took quite a while for him to want to see it. Going from there where he wouldn't want to see it to now where he takes the bag off himself and he doesn't really clean it, but I mean, he will, he does help to do that. So it's, yeah. you know, even in seven months of him having it done, he's um, come a long way in, in coping with that on that side. When he first had it done, he had a, like a see-through bag um, and then his stoma nurse had said that there was the, the new bags, there was white or black, and he was really pleased by that. He didn't want to see what was inside at first. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he was really excited, especially for the black one. But you've got names for them, haven't you, Max? What do you call your white one? Stormtrooper. We were trying to think of something that we could, while we were in public or wherever, um, we could say, rather than saying to him, no, should we go and do your bag? We could say, how's your stormtrooper for his white one? Or how's his oh, black so panther, neat. which is his black one? Oh, so we were cool. trying to think of something that obviously appeals to him as well. So yeah. um, we use those for, for, for your bags, don't we, Max? That's so cool. <laughs> That's smart. And we had a meeting at school, didn't we, yesterday? And what did they say that you're going to do next week? I'm going to be like a teacher. Like, I'm going to have little groups and I'm going to tell them about my stone and how I had it. You're going to show them your bag as well, aren't you? Wow, you're a really brave man. I have my little daughter, she's three, and I've been thinking about this, like, how did you explain that to Max that this is going to happen? It was the best decision for him anyway, um, and I just said, we just sat him down and said, look, you, you're obviously going through ever such a lot and we need to try and make you better. He wasn't really growing, he wasn't really putting any weight on. He was severely anemic. He was very, very fond of his um, consultant and told him that Mr Lander um, was going to do this operation for him so that he's going to make him feel better. I think we just basically explained that he was going to have a little bit of his tummy was going to come out the out of his skin um, and he'd just have a, a bag and instead of doing a poo on the toilet he would have his poo in this bag that we would help him and he would change every day. I helped prepare him with pictures online as well. I also showed him a couple of videos of children um, changing, either changing the bag themselves or having the bags changed just to get him a bit more prepared. I also showed his brother as well, um, because that was another side of trying to prepare Finlay for it as well. At first they were both, you know, quite shocked yeah. by it and, you know, oh, what's that sort of thing? We had found models with bags and bodybuilders and oh, all sorts really of things some, yeah. just to show him that it wasn't anything out of the ordinary, really but he's not really been that fussed. We've always been quite open with family. As soon as I would come and, and see him at hospital, we would always 
show nanny or show granddad or yeah. whoever, you know, and so he wasn't awkward with it yeah. or, or anything. So you're not bothered by it, are you, mate? Exactly, why should you? The feedback is, is very, very crucial for us because then we can change something. Otherwise, if you don't know, how can you, you improve something? You don't know then, yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. But we have these like new stuff that we have is um, Eureka Ninjas at work. So it's a really keen thing, it's like a lovely thing that we never had before. These are guys that are actually, and one of us, actually one of them. <laughs> um, we are all about innovation. And this year has been like super different with the Confidence B launching and so on. But I think these ideas come out much more. Mm -hmm. So hopefully if, if people comes up more with feedback they had and, and maybe things we didn't like, maybe the things you did like, yeah. then we can improve it even better. Yeah. And it would be like so, so ideal. How do you do your research? Like what, what how do you try and relate to the patients? What do you do? What we have lately is a lot of training and a lot of talks about like understanding what you go through or or a lot of information. But the late last last thing what we did is wear a bag for a day, mm. which is walking a mile in someone else's shoes. Yeah, which went really well. Where we put some porridge in there and put it on, stick it ah. on, and we went through the procedure of understanding how important it is to put everything in a box. So you have your leaflet, why you put your leaflets, which is you have that guide otherwise you don't yeah. know what to do in mm. and then how you measure your stoma so on the response was good people were thinking like and then they were coming back and saying you know what it just like opened my eyes because yeah. it does it opens your eyes to different understanding like it's not just plastic bag that you make it's yeah. something more mm. that's just one thing we really do <laughs> Yeah. Care a lot. yeah we try our new things we try this we try that and we're thinking would this work would this not work and when finding out what doesn't want what does work it, it's really crucial yeah especially with this drainable pouch uh, because as well my question is is it easier to clean it out with this tap yes definitely oh. max has started to to help clean it when he does um, empty it and that's one thing we always use that when we're yeah. having to open it up yeah definitely it's definitely sure. uh, yeah. useful well to the end of it i just wanted to thank you so much for actually coming here talking to me it's been amazing to find out all your story because i think you have some amazing tips or ideas that i think other parents could use like these choosing the names for the fact that's yeah. amazing i think that's a good trick that someone's like yeah i can do that yeah. so um Great, great. Really, really thank you for that. It was a lot of fun and it's nice to meet Max because he's such a nice guy. He's going to be really good and it's nice that he's like sharing the story about himself and, and that's all cool. I love it. Thank you for inviting <laughs> us. When you're at home and you're having to deal with it, you don't think about the other side of you guys doing what you're doing and researching it like you do, it, you do yeah. as well. And even to hear what you've done with the bag and your like wearing them yourselves it's really really good to hear that you're yeah. researching you to get what you know how far you're you, you're doing with the bags it's it's great to hear thank you very much from me and max it's been really good to talk to you and you it was amazing mm -hmm.